Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Varun Vyas from New University of Delhi Department of Physics and Astrophysics. Today we are going to talk on the module Flow Measurements under the paper Measurement and Instrumentations. In this module we will study about flow measurements that is measurement of flow of gases and liquids falls into the category of non electrical quantities here we will study about four different types of flow meters they are turbine flow meter electromagnetic flow meter hot wire anemometer and ultrasonic flow meter flow measurement is the process of measuring fluid flowing through the pipes ducts in a plant or an industry in day to day application flow measurements data is collected and from water or gas service meters or in gasoline pumping stations there is wide range of flow meters that work on various operating principles suited to gases liquid or slurry media and designed according to the containments such as pipes or open ducts in measure a measurement can be performed via positive displacement flow meters they accumulate a fixed volume of liquid and then calculate the number of times the fixed volume is filled to measure flow other methods rely on the forces produced when flow stream passes through known constructions and flow rate may also be estimated by measuring the velocity of fluid over a known area in this session we will study about the most common methods used for flow measurements turbine flow meters the turbine flow meters are the most highly developed non friction displacement type of flow meter here an axially mounted turbine wheel that is freely rotating motor is placed in the path of the fluid stream here flowing fluid impart force on to the blade surface and rotor is set into motion at an angular velocity proportional to the flow rate of the fluid the design of the turbine flow meter is shown in the figure 1 by reducing the bearing friction the device is designed to give a linear output with minimum losses the speed is measured with great accuracy by counting the rate at which blade pass a fixed point with help of magnetic proximity pickup that generates voltage pulses by feeding the pulses generated to an electronic pulse rate meter the total flow rate can be estimated by counting total number of pulses in fixed time intervals with digital meter such measurements can be performed with great accuracy and for analog signals the pulses can be fed to frequency to voltage converter turbine flow meters are most commonly used types of flow meter they provide direct means to measure both liquid and gas flow rates they are used in remote monitoring and aircraft applications the linearity of such a device is very good that is plus minus 0.25% of the full scale the dynamic 
the response of the device is also good and has the typical time constant of approximately 10 milliseconds full scale flow rates from 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 to 1.2 meter cube per second can be achieved with liquids and gases the main drawback of the system is the damages with the particles suspended in the fluid when blades get damaged the system requires calibration the length of the pipe upstream should be 15 times of the diameter this helps to maintain a flow pattern for accurate estimation of flow rate these devices are expensive and are useful for fluids of limited viscosities the system has to be recalibrated with any change in the viscosity or variation in the temperature of the fluid turbine flow meters have poor accuracy at low flow rates due to rotor or bearing drag that slows the turbine wheel they should not be operated at high velocities that can lead to premature bearing wear or damage can occur caution is to be taken when measuring non lubricating fluids because bear wearing can lead to inaccuracies in the measurement abrupt switching from gas flow to liquid should be avoided this can put considerable mechanical stress on the system and damage the flow meter these conditions occur when pipes are being filled and under slug flow conditions slug flow conditions exist when large bubbles of gas are formed in the fluid flowing through pipes these gas bubbles behave like lumps of particle moving with fluid stream electromagnetic flow meters the operating principle of electromagnetic flow meters is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction it states that emf of e volt gets induced in the conductor of length l meters when it moves at a transference velocity of v meter per second across the magnetic field of b wb per meter square the induced emf in the conductor is given by the following expression e is equals to b into l into v volts this is equation one the induced voltage depends on the rate at which conductor moves through the magnetic field the magnitude of the induced voltage acts as an indicator of the flow rate of the liquid the schematic of electromagnetic flow meter is shown in figure 2 its tube is made up of non conducting material with two electrodes mounted opposite to each other on the tube wall outside of the tube there are magnets with a magnetic field right angle to the electrodes the fluid flowing through the tube should have conductive at least of 10 raised to power minus 3 siemens per meter when a conductive fluid flows through the insulating tube via magnetic field voltage gets induced across the electrodes 
the induced voltage is directly proportional to first the magnetic field strength b second the distance between the electrodes small d and third average velocity of conducting fluid flowing through non conducting tube both dc and ac magnetic field can be used for such devices but with dc fields have a danger of electrolytic polarization at the electrodes this can lead to fluid velocity profile distortion the magnetic field used here is usually of 50 hertz and magnitude of 75 into 10 raised to power 4 ampere per meter the pipes used for flow measurement should be of non magnetic materials in order to allow magnetic field to penetrate the fluid and also prevent short circuit due to induced voltage the main advantage of electromagnetic flow meter is that they do not obstruct flow that may lead to drop in pressure this type of flow meter have no moving parts that can cause friction and insensitive to velocity and density on flow disturbances it has a wide linear range of 10 is to 1 and is independent of properties of the fluid except for the electrical conductivity only the condition for measurement is that pipe should always be full these devices are suitable for bi directional measurements and are well suited for solaris corrosive and solid contaminated liquids hot fire anemometer an anemometer is a device that is used for measuring of speed of wind they measure average velocity velocity fluctuations and are used in aerodynamic research and allied fields the hot wire anemometer are very sensitive and are responsive towards high frequency variations in fluid flow rate a hot wire anemometer has a small length of very fine heated metal wire supported on a probe the basic design of the hot wire anemometer is shown in figure 3 This probe is exposed to fluid whose flow measurements are to be conducted. The wire is heated by passing electric current through it and during the flow measurement heat gets dissipated through convection. This dissipation of heat is in addition to loss through radiation and conduction along the wire support this results in loss in temperature along with wire resistance equilibrium temperature of wire is reached when the heat produced on the current flow that is i square r becomes equals to the convection heat loss from the surface of wire any loss due to radiation and conduction are negligible there are types of anemometer one can operate on the principle of constant current and other constant temperature type platinum wire of diameter ranging from 0.005 to 0.3 mm and length of 5 to 10 mm 
is used as thermo element its dimensions depend on the diameter of the flow channel for a small diameter one gets large resistance per unit length with lesser inertia but it is also less capable of sustaining large fluid pressure length of the wire is half of the diameter of the pipe a large l by d ratio make sure that wire is an endless cylindrical body the sensitivity of the device depends on the temperature difference between the hot fire and the fluid it increases with increase in temperature but higher limit of the temperature is fixed by the material characteristics under the normal circumstances the higher limit of temperature is 400 to 500 degree centigrade on the account of the increased radiation losses in constant current type system the heating wire element is connected with the, a bridge circuit in order to maintain a constant level of heat in this system the wire temperature get adjusted by itself due to convection loss until equilibrium is obtained as the convection film coefficient is a function of velocity the wire temperature at equilibrium is a measure of velocity the rheostat used in the bridge circuit is of the resistance of the order of 2 kilo ohms the resistance in the arm of the bridge is equivalent to that of a heater wire in constant temperature type current is adjusted to keep the wire temperature constant here the current required to maintain the wire temperature constant is a measure of flow of velocity the current flowing through the wire is measured by voltage drop across the standard resistor connected in series with the heater wire element for measurement of steady or average velocities the constant current mode is usually preferred ultrasonic or acoustic flow meters this type of flow meters consist of two piezo electric crystals in liquid or gases separated by a distance one of the crystal works as a transmitter and the other acts as a receiver there are two types of flow meter first one measures the phase shift between the oscillations directed downstream and upstream alternatively the second one makes measurement of separation of frequency of oscillation directed downstream and upstream simultaneously the schematic of ultrasound flow meter is shown in figure 4 the ultrasonic flow meter works on the principle of doppler effect the two piezo electric crystal a and b work as a transmitter and receiver alternatively ultrasonic signals get transmitted between them through the liquid crystals are connected to oscillator via switch s that alternates the empty supply between the two crystals that is by using them as transistor or receiver alternately the detector is a phase sensitive device connected to switch s that measures the transit time from upstream to downstream or vice versa velocity of sound propagation c in a medium is in meter per second v is the linear velocity of the fluid in meter per second and d is the distance in meter between the two crystals a and b 
the transit time in the direction of flow that is upstream to downstream is given by delta t1 is equals to d by c plus v this is equation 2 transit time when signal is traveling in opposite direction of the fluid that is delta t2 is equals to d divided by c minus v this is equation 3 phase shift in sinusoidal frequency of f hertz traveling in the direction of fluid can be written as delta phi 1 is equals to 2 pi fd divided by c plus v this is equation 4 and phase shift in direction opposite to the direction of fluid flow is given by delta phi 2 is equals to 2 pi fd divided by c minus v this is equation 5 the measured fluid flow rate is proportional to the difference between the phase shift is given by the following expression where delta phi 2 minus delta phi 1 is equals to 2 pi fd divided by c minus v this minus 2 pi fd divided by c plus v this is equals to 4 pi fd v divided by c square minus v square this becomes approximately equals to 4 pi f dv divided by c square this is equals to kv and this is equation 6 as the fluid flow velocity is much much smaller than c that is the acoustic velocity the linearity of the system is good within 2 percent and on the lower side the linear flow velocity is up to 1 millimeter per second that can be easily measured the dynamic response of the flow meter is limited by the switching frequency though the uncertainty in the value of c can be a source of an error flow channel walls are designed to not permit any acoustic transmission to this purpose plastic based materials are preferred to construct the channel walls for different groups of fluid probes or different frequencies are employed the normal range of frequencies used is between 200 to 5000 kilohertz in this module we studied about the measurement of non electrical quantities like fluid flow here we looked into various types of flow meters we started with purely mechanical design that were used in turbine flow meters thereafter we learned about electromagnetic and hot wire anemometers and the most recent ones are the ultrasonic flow meters whose applications are limited to the industrial and large scale plants only thank you